Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a sermon by Saint Leo the Great, Pope, Christian. Remember your dignity. Dearly beloved, today our Savior is born. Let us rejoice. Sadness should have no place on the birthday of life. The fear of death has been swallowed up. Life brings us joy with the promise of eternal happiness. No one is shut out from this joy. All share the same reason for rejoicing. Our Lord, victor over sin and death, finding no man free from sin, came to free us all. Let the saint rejoice as he sees the palm of victory at hand. Let the sinner be glad as he receives the offer of forgiveness. Let the pagan Take courage as he is summoned to life. In the fullness of time, chosen in the unfathomable depths of God's wisdom, the Son of God took for himself our common humanity in order to reconcile it with its creator. He came to overthrow the devil, the origin of death, in that very nature by which he had overthrown mankind. And so, at the birth of our Lord, the angels sing in joy, 
Glory to God in the highest. And they proclaim peace to men of good will. As they see the heavenly Jerusalem being built from all the nations of the world. when the angels on high are so exultant at this marvelous work of God's goodness, what joy should it not bring to the lowly hearts of men? Beloved, let us give thanks to God the Father through His Son in the Holy Spirit because in this great love for us He took pity on us and when we were dead in our sins he brought us to life with Christ so that in him we might be a new creation let us throw off our old nature and all its ways and as we have come to birth in Christ let us renounce the works of the flesh Christian, remember your dignity. And now that you share in God's own nature, do not return by sin to your former base condition. Bear in mind who is your head and of whose body you are a member. Do not forget that you have been rescued from the power of darkness. And brought into the light of God's Kingdom. From the desert, with Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen in nomine Patris et Fili it's spirit to Santi. Amen.